What's up, Uke family? Welcome back to another ukulele lesson. Today we're going to learn how to play this lovely chord progression that I was playing at the beginning of the video. Now, pretty much like it a lot. We're going to explain uh, the uh, chord progression as well as the chords and how to play it. Now, I'm going to be using a super tenor ukulele, which is basically just like a slightly bigger tenor uke. So this is my tenor ukulele, a standard tenor ukulele, and this is a super tenor so if we check it's just slightly slightly bigger maybe i can make a video with this uh just show you the just show you this uh, and yes um if you're wondering i do have a ukulele rack right here just to do this just to show you this little thing i just put the rack right here which is pretty cool right now this is tuned uh, in uh, standard tuning but with the low g However, you can also use the high G. I'm gonna show you uh, the difference is very um, subtle. This chord progression that I call on the bright side is in the key of A major. We've got four chords, A major, D major, F sharp minor, and E major. It's a nice chord progression. a simple thing to play though because as you can see we're playing four strings for each chord so the idea and the concept behind this chord progression is that we're going to try to move as little as possible and we're going to start with just two strings like this So it's the same chord progression, but we're using different chord shapes. So for the first chord, the A major chord, we're gonna play the chord like this. Fourth and second string, fret number six and fret number five. I'm plucking with the thumb and index. For the uh, D major chord, we're gonna play fret number seven and fret number five. For the F sharp minor chord, we're gonna play the third string and the second string, fret number six and fret number five. The last chord, the uh, E major chord, we're gonna play like this. We're gonna bring the index finger on the fret number seven, and on the fourth string, we have the fret number nine. That's it, four chords. Like, you see the difference? We went from to this. Just the sweetest thing. Now we're gonna repeat the same chord progression one more time, we're just gonna change position. The first chord is the same, the A major is the same, fret number six and five. And since the next chord is the D major, we can use the same chord shape all the way up to the fret number 11 and 10. Always, always sixth and second string. Hey, we're not playing the guitar, it's the fourth and the second string, sorry. So fret 11 and fret number 10. So this is the second chord, the D major. Now for the F sharp minor, this is interesting. We're gonna bring the index finger one fret back and we'll have fret number nine. We finish with the E major chord. We're gonna change a chord shape and we play this. So we're playing the fourth string, D fret number nine and fret number 11 on the third string. Finally, we play the third string as well. So when I put the whole thing together, I like to finish with this natural harmonic, which is played on the first string, fret number 12. You wanna to gently touch the string right on the fret wire without pressing, just lightly touch it, and then you pluck the string. Nice effect. Beautiful chord progression. Now, I already know what you wanna ask. Can I play this on my tenor ukulele tuned in high G? Absolutely. It's gonna sound slightly different, but it's just a lovely sound. It sounds thinner. Um, I don't know, it's just a different sound.
Now for the first three chords, we're gonna add the same note. We're gonna use the same note, which is the first string fret number seven. So we have A, but this time we're gonna add the first string fret seven. Then we're gonna play the D, and we're also gonna add the fret number seven. We're gonna play the F sharp minor, and we're also gonna add, gonna add the fret seven on the A string. For the last chord, we are going to play the first string open. So for the E major, we're gonna play the uh, A string open, which is gonna add a beautiful color to the chord. So we have Now, next section is the same. We are going to play the first chord, the A major, always with the first string fret number seven. And then we're gonna take this chord, this uh, chord shape and we're gonna bring it all the way up to the fret number 11, 10, and 12. It's the same chord shape. For the F sharp minor, we're gonna bring the index finger one fret back, so hold this position and you're gonna bring the index finger one fret back. So now we have 11, nine, and 12. And we finish with the E major chord, uh, which before we played with just two strings, um, the fret number nine and fret number 11. But now we also have the first string, fret number 11. So I'm gonna put the whole thing together slowly. Of course, guys, we don't have to play the strings simultaneously all the time. In fact, we can break the finger picking pattern and add more rhythm to the chord progression by picking single strings like this. here is that I always go with thumb and index first and then the middle finger will pluck the first string so it's always thumb and index simultaneously followed by the middle finger always on the first string I play this chord simultaneously just to break the pattern And the last chord, I don't know why, I like this um, singing note on the first string, so I'll go thumb and middle together, and then the index on the third string. The awesome thing about these chords is that you can learn the chord progression that I'm teaching you in this video, but at the same time, once you learn the chords, you can use the same chord shapes to create a different chord progression. That's an awesome thing to do, right? Because you know, you want to create your music as well. So the second section will have a one chord shape and we're going to play different chords. We're going to open up with the D major chord, E major chord, F sharp minor, and E major back to the D. So it's a nice chord progression, but listen how we're gonna play it. So I'm literally playing the same chord shape, always on the fourth and second string. We have fret number seven and five for the D major chord. We got nine and seven for the E major. We've got, uh, what is this? 11 and nine for the uh, F sharp minor. And then we go back to the E major, D major, 
and E. We are also adding the first string open, which is going to add a lot of color to these chords. I love it. Keep it simple, right? We got thumb and index, middle and index, thumb, index, and middle. Same thing. I like to add this embellishment, sorry, I wasn't able to play it. I just wanted to uh, talk to you and play this thing at the same time, it's almost impossible. It's a nice embellishment on the uh, E major chord, and it's a hammer on from fret number uh, seven to fret number nine. And then I play the first string open. So it's the fourth and the second string together. Then the hammer on with the finger four on the fret number nine. First string open, thumb, and then the first string, fret number seven, hammer on on fret number nine, and the first string open again. Beautiful embellishment. We go back to the D major. And the E major. We're only gonna pluck this one time, and then two natural harmonics now. On the second string, fret 12, and on the first string, fret 12. I love it. We can finish with an A major chord. And we can also play it on the tenor ukulele. Let's just see how it sounds. sweet. I love it. Good luck with this chord.